so hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great so in this video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of basic fire simulation in blender so without any further delay now let's get started tutorial and in this video i'm going to talk about the easiest way how you can create that kind of a basic fire simulation and you don't need to do more things in blender okay you have to just click one object and you will get that basic file simulation and we'll also talk about uh, how we can use that uh, volume shader in blender basically here you can see we have uh, that kind of volume shader if i'll show you how so here you can see we have uh, that volume shader as well how we can change the uh, black body intensity and how it's work basically so we'll just talk about some uh, basic settings as well so now let's start a tutorial so first of all i just want to open a new file so i'm just going to open a new file and here you can see we have a new project file here so first of all we get that basic cube okay so what i'm going to do exactly i'm just going to my object and here you will see the quick effect here i'm just going to add the quick smoke so when i add the quick smoke you will get something like that here you can see so right now we have a smoke in our scene but we can't see any kind of fire so how we can get the fire basically so for that we need to uh, do some settings basically so what we have to do exactly so first of all what I'm going to do I'm just going to select my domain okay then I'm just going to my physics settings and here you will see we have a, a bunch of uh, domain setting basically so I'm just going to change the resolution first of all to 32 to 64 so we'll get the better smoke and better fire, uh, fire basically okay then i'm just going to increase this adaptation deformation basically and what is does exactly so that domain size will be changed according to our file simulation it's going to high so our domain uh, size will also increase according to our uh, simulation where it's going basically so it does exactly that thing okay and we'll also show you how it's work basically right now i'm just going to enable this thing basically and here you can see right now that domain size is changed and if i'm just going to uh, play the animation so where that smoke is going to up so domain domain size is also going to increase it so exactly that adaptation deformation does exactly okay so and after that what I'm going to do uh, from here we don't need to change anything we have to just uh, select our that object basically that flow object and from here we need to change this smoke as a fire and smoke okay and uh, apart from that we don't need to change anything and let's see what happened exactly so I'm just going to in the animation and right now still we can't see any kind of fire in our object so for that what you have to do to just select your domain then you have to just go to down and from here you have to just click this is resumable so when you click this that is a resumable so you will get the fire also in your scene and after that when i'm just going to play the animation so here you can see it look like this and that's look fine basically so now i'm just going to change some setting from my render setting as well so i'm just going to my render properties and so here i'm just going to change my render engine as a cycle then i'm just going to select my gpu device and from here i'm just going to enable the render and viewport denoising as well and then i'm just going to switch my rendering mode from here and uh, if i'm just play the animation so here you can see it will look like this and right now here you can see we can't see any kind of fire in our scene basically we can see only the smoke so how we can resolve this problem basically so we have to just split this screen first of all i'm just going to split this screen from here to here yeah and then i'm just going to change this screen as a shader editor and i'm just going to select my domain and from here i'm just going to change the black body intensity to one and when i'm just going to increase this black body intensity to one so we'll get the fire uh, in our scene here you can see and now we can see the fire also with the smoke as well okay and if you want to change some color of the black body tint basically that smoke color and that uh, fire color so you can just uh, change the color from here so you will get some extra uh, color in your uh, fire and here you can see that's look much better basically and if i'm just going to play the animation here you can see that's look fine here you can see so if i'm just going to switch my viewport shading mode so you can see it will look like this so if i'm just going to play the animation so that's look fine okay and one more thing i think we have to bake it once so i'm just going to bake this whole animation once again so we'll get the better result by the way so i'm just going to bake it i will set this as a modular then i'm just going to bake it so it will take a little time so i'm just going to skip this baking process so that video will not going to so much long so here you can see after complete our bake that's look something like that and that look cool basically 
here you can see we have a perfect smoke here we have perfect fire here so that's how you can create that kind of basic and fire simulation that is very cool and i thought i should share with that trick with you okay and uh, you don't need to uh, mesh up with those settings of domain settings and flow settings you have to just go to your object setting and here you have to just add the quick smoke and that will be set everything uh, automatically and you need to change some setting which is i have shown you before okay you, you have to just click those buttons and after that you will see that kind of a perfect file simulation okay so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something in this video please hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any session please let me know in the comment box i will definitely reply comment so bye bye take care and stay home guys